guys and welcome to my welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Chloe Dallas, and today I am making cabbage fried cabbage. It's my favorite side in the world. I love it. So it's really quick, um, quick and easy, but I'm just gonna take you along with the process. I kind of already started. I cut up some onions. Just bring so I cut up some onions and some bacon. Now, if you don't eat bacon or pork or stuff like that, you don't really necessarily need it. But I eat bacon, I eat that shit, so I'm gonna definitely put it in there. Okay? So here we go. Um I took just three slices and cut that. cabbage will fit in the pan, but I got a huge cabbage. My sister bought a huge cabbage this time, so I got a huge head of cabbage. Um, I'm going to put that over here for right now, and I'm going to cut that in a second, but I want to put your oven on, and you're going to put it on like up to the high, not actually high, but closer than so you can keep your pan hot. And, um, ready? Now, I cook this using two things. I use butter and I use vegetable oil. Vegetable, <laughs> vegetable oil. And guess what? Sweet cream butter! Okay. Take literally one slice, and this is just for right now. Right now. You want to twirl it all over the pan. All over the pan. And put your onion. You hear that? That's because the pan is nice and hot. Right? Bacon makes his own grease, I'm aware. But I like to grease everything up. Okay. So you want to give that a little twirl. Try to mix as thoroughly as possible. Let me bring that a little bit closer. Okay. You want to sprinkle a little bit of your seasoning, just a little bit, not all of it, but just enough for the onions and bacon to cook by itself. Yeah. Okay. Turn that down to low. Not low. Uh, I want to say medium. Turn it down to medium. Okay? Just let that go down. 
I already rinsed this off, the whole nine, now it's time to chop it, okay? I'm cutting it like this, because uh, I don't like this part. I mean, I guess you're really not even supposed to use it anyway. But this right here, I don't. So I chop that off and trash it. I do leave some hard pieces in there because I do like the crunch, but not that much of the crunch, you know? So face everything down. Before I cut that, I'm going to stir it one more time. as much as you can. And you're gonna dump all of it in there. Okay, I'm not, I don't know why this cabbage keeps running away. So I just cleaned up the house. It's not true. So, hold up. Why do you leave? You want to do as much mixing as you can for folding, I guess. Because the meat or the bacon is already cooked, so it's okay to toss it around. You don't want it to burn the bottom. But if you can't get all of it, it's okay. You know? Trust the process. So this is where I start seasoning and putting stuff in. After I mix this up a little bit. Okay? vegetable oil you want to drizzle it everywhere you really only need two table not two tablespoons but two cat fulls you want to put it in the middle around the edges everything then right. your seasoning It's okay to be heavy-handed, light-handed, however you want it. Just make sure it's getting covered. For spice.
slap your mama in the Creole. I think these are kind of the same, but I put both of them in it anyway. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. And last but not least, accent. Now we're gonna go back in. I'm gonna mix this around and get everything coated with the vegetable oil, the onions, the seasoning, and then the flavor. You can see the cabbage start to cook down and shrink. I know I'm making a mess, but I really don't care. I'm just gonna show you how I get it done. Also put vinegar. White vinegar is you know okay, but normally it's apple cider. No wait, no white vinegar is okay. Apple cider is like, mm. but I like the white vinegar, and I don't measure. I actually literally just pour like that. I have no measurements. This is all free handed, but it turns out. Good every time. So again, I'm gonna mix this around. Do a lot of mixing, folding. Okay. You see how it's cooking down? So with everything coated. You're gonna turn your heat back up closer to high. After you do that, you put a lid on it. Just let it up. And while I do that, I'm gonna clean around a little bit. So this cabbage, I know I made a mess, but this cabbage is like my family's favorite, okay? So just clean up, Matthew, whatever you're not gonna need. Okay, so open it, that's what it looks like. Let's stir a little more. Take your butter, little slices. I do about four. And I just let it sit on top. I close it back up. All right. It's been two minutes. Turned off the heater. I don't mind the water from the steam, you know, getting in there. It's really good. But once you see that this caramelization starting to appear, that's when you know the cabbage is good. And you know 
this green. So this is just how I want it. I love the texture of this. This is perfect to me. However, if you want it to be a little bit more cooked down and a little bit more softer, just cook it a little bit more or let it simmer, you know? It don't have to be on high, but just let it simmer. But this is definitely how I love my cabbage. Look at this. Another technique that I learned after trying to cook this like almost every other day, just let it sit on the burner that it was on with the top on. And that's also another way to cook it down, okay? I wanna show you guys the finished finish product. Um, I had mixed all of it together. The ones that I did the first one, second one, do not mind the dirtiness. I am gonna come back and clean. But this, Let it simmer or low for 10 minutes by itself. And this is the finished product. Look at that. You cannot tell me this doesn't look good as hell. I'm gonna taste it for you. Mm. Woo. Mm. So that is Clodala's cabbage. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in and watching. I'm I, you know the glasses thing. I, I'm just gonna get side like this. No, but no for real. Thank you for watching. I know it's messy, might be really quick, but that's literally it. Just onions, bacon, cabbage, your seasonings, your preference and whatever time you want. But that's how I make my cabbage. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And if you do subscribe, comment down below and I'm gonna give you a shout out on my Instagram. Oh, so before I go, there's another thing. I am now a, a little brand ambassador for Popple. Popple, P-O-P-L dot com. If you use my code CLODOLLARS, you will receive 20% off your purchase. 20%. I'm going to use a link. I'm going to leave the link in the comments. Um, not even in the comments. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to leave the link below. Click it. Buy whatever you want. 20% off. Thank you.